Hey guys, it's Chicken Connor. Welcome back for more Mother 1. I actually just leveled up and figured I would continue in this fight against, you guessed it, Ah boy, Wale! I'm pretty sure I can kick his ass now that I'm level 3. Now he takes three, 5 damage from us, unfortunately. We take 2 damage from him, sometimes 3. Yeah, he should be too tough. Unless he gets a smash attack. The smash attacks from Wally will pretty much kill you at this point in the game. Look at that, his pitchfork is the same color as his skin. It's like he's stabbed himself in the head or something. Anyway, I just wanted to continue off in this fight. See, look at that. At level 3, I can finish him off, because I'm awesome! Anyway, um... Yeah, we're just about done grinding here, alright? So, not to worry. All I want to do is just get life up alpha. Have used the ball horn. Your mother is calling for you! And Ten believed it! Intense fight decreased by nine. Yeah. What a jerk. Oh, for those of you who don't know, this song is a remix of Johnny Be Good. If you listen closely, I think. Um, however, uh, that's another reason why this game and others are having trouble getting on the virtual console, because this is a remix of Johnny Be Good. You win! And there we go. There is Life of Alpha, I believe. Now that we have Telepathy and Life of Alpha, we are not going to have much trouble surviving. Yeah. We did good. Oh, come on! I'm so close to getting to do it! Oh, there we go. Stray dog. Just like the runaway dog. I was so close to getting to town and then you take this away from me! Yeah. I'm just a crybaby sometimes. I'm almost as bad as Titus. Oh god, please, nobody compare me to Titus. Oh my god. He was the whole reason I hated Final Fantasy. And uh, he wasn't the whole reason I hated Final Fantasy X, though, but he was one of the key reasons why I hated Final Fantasy X. Oh my god, Titus was the most annoying piece of crap protagonist I could ever have the displeasure of having in a game. Oh my god, he was so annoying. He was so annoying. You know what the best part of Final Fantasy X was? The best part of Final Fantasy X was when you learned Titus never existed. Yeah, that was the best part of the whole freaking game, right there. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Final Fantasy fan. I like RPGs. Oh yeah, that's right. You now have to use your cash card on these things. Ugh, draw. Withdraw all of our money. Still not nearly enough for the wooden bat. But... Nah. I'm pretty sure I can make it. Now, real quick, I want to tell you. On the way out of here, if you're weak, don't talk to guys that look like this. Don't talk to guys that look like that, because they are impersonating zombies, and they will fight you if you talk to them. So, what you want to do is want to heal up for cheap, and you're weak like I am, but you're strong enough to hold your own in the wild for a little while. You want to go down to the south of town. There are enemies down here, unfortunately. Also, I apologize if I'm not having events in this game flow together as well as they were in Mother 2. Just like a lot of other NES games, a lot of the plot is improvisation. So I'm doing the best I can. Anyway, check this guy. He looks familiar. He's a blue-haired healer. Believe it or not, I am a healer. No, I can cure your PP and restore Sophonellus. Once you refresh, give me eighteen dollars for that, because fix like a true expert. He worked on me like a car. No, I'm kidding. And we have a save point right here. It's actually a good idea to save point to use these save points right here. We have one dollar in the bank from that one centipede that we fought. Wow, those centipedes have sure have a high bounty on their head, don't they? He's going to continue. Alright. So anyway, there was that girl Pippi that we heard about in the last part who was missing. And that mom... Oh, I don't start with A. It's not another Wally. But, um... That her mom was really worried sick and everything, and oh, you got a smash attack. Oh, okay, good, only damage. Her mom was, oh, thank God, me. Um, but her mom was worried sick, and 
do you mean you got another smash deck? What is this, Smash Fest 08? God. Apparently it is. Yeah, you're dead. It might be a good idea to go after that, but anyway. That mom was freaking worried sick about Pippi. And, you know, we better tell someone in high authority in this town about it. Because, you know, Pippi should be safe. She should feel safe living in this town. Let's go in, Lieutenant. Another one! See, this is one thing I don't like about the random encounters in this game. Oh, great, he flew into a rage and his offense increased by 8. That's just dandy for our HP, isn't it? And he got a smash attack! 15 damage! That's almost half of our max HP! Hooray! Yeah, I dodged! Ah, you missed! You suck! Yeah, you're dead. I'm making this game look a lot easier than it really is. Usually smash attacks aren't that often. Jeez. Another freaking enemy. This is actually just a shortcut back into town by going through these trees. That I'm using. Yay, hippies. Never can have enough of those. Anyway, so... Yeah, we should go to someone in high authority in this town and maybe help, you know, get Pippi back. Because I'm sure they can help us, considering, you know, we're just a kid. You know, I'm just a kid. I can't do anything about it. I'm just a kid. I shouldn't be expected to do anything, though, but I'd like to help. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Okay. <sighs> yeah. A pointless fight with a snake. I can't believe I'm not cutting this fight out in the finished product. The snake became quiet. And by the way, a tip for fighting the wall is the wallies actually give you. Wait, another one! God. Okay, I'm going to introduce you a tip right here. If you don't like the random battles and you're convinced that you're strong enough to survive against enemies in the next part of the game, there is a glitch in this... I defended. There... Well, it's not really a glitch, though, but if you open up... Basically what happens is after a random encounter, the game will choose a number. At completely random. That number is equivalent to the number of steps it will take until the next random encounter happens. If you open up the menu with the A button, that number will reset and be cho and it will change to something else when you close the menu. Oh yeah, we got a level. Fight increased by 2, speed increased by 2, wisdom increased by 2, come on, give me something more than 2. Strength increased by 2, force increased by 3, yeah, I like to see that. Max HP increased by 8, it's not bad. Max HP increased by 7, that was really a good level up. Maybe there is such thing as vitality in this game, I don't really know, I'm sorry. That's one thing I don't know about this game. Anyway... So yeah, let's see who we can go. Let's see where we can go. There's gotta be someone in high authority in this town that can help you, and we got some massive slowdown right there. Somebody in this town surely has high authority. Let's look for a uh, building with a sign on. Ah, right, here we go. This place isn't marked. Check City Hall, City of Pudding. Let's take this to City Hall. I'm sure someone in there can help us. I'll share a little secret with you later. Okay. Citizen, I know you, you would like to help your town. Well, child has strayed into the cemetery, and I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Yes. Oh, you will go there and save her? Return her to be alive, and surely I'll be a hero. Or, I mean, you'll be a hero. Yay, another untrustworthy mayor. I'm out of it, not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mayor is over there. Yes, we knew. So, yes, we have another untrustworthy jerk mayor, just like in Winnet's. I'm seeing similarities already. But, with the similarities between these two games, me pointing this out, we're going to have to cut this about right here. Need more money. So anyway, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, big hit a button, give me good 5 star views down below this video, and we should check them on the parts if you like this one. Okay, I'll see all of you guys later.